hi guys welcome back in this react native video we are going to discuss and learn about the snapshot testing with the gist so first question is what is the snapshot testing in the snapshot testing we will uh, create a kind of snapshot of our code and store in the snapshots folder so that we can identify the expected and unexpected changes after some time so uh, and I will share a link in the description box so you can learn about the detail uh, you can learn about the snapshot testing in the detail so you can find the link in the description box so this is very useful also so now let's get started with the practical practical example so this is our, our component we can see that uh, this is a test.js and here you can see that we have a we have a test folder so by default when you install the react native so probably you find a default test file is here so i just delete it because uh, we will learn from the very scratch so just create a file with the home underscore test.js okay so now just import some things here first of all we have to import the react native Oops. now we have to import the react from react right and now now import the component for that you want to write your text test case from your exact path and the my home component exact path is within this src and home all right and now after that we have to import one more thing which is the render and why we import the render because here we do not have any kind of mobile sdk or we don't have the browser so that how we can render our file so this render will help us to render the component oops it's react test render all right so now just start to write test so the test functions have the two parameters first for uh, exactly we can say that uh, for the name whatever you can put here like the home snapshot And the second function, second parameter, we can use the anim animals functions, or you can use the arrow function also. So just take a const here and put the name like snap. All right, and use the create function of the renderer. Actually, this is a renderer, not render. All right dot create and within the create file we have to pass our component all right so just use the to json because it used to the to the json to the store the snapshot file all right so this is fine now use the expected output for uh, for expected output use expect function all right and pass your snap very const here and to f find what exactly you want to see the output that we want to use we have to use a two match snapshot here all right 
so I think this is complete now so now just use the command prompt and write here npm test only okay so you can see that we have uh, successfully created a snapshot and there is a kind of summary there is a time and this is the home snapshot we write in the first parameter of the test function test suits suits and test and whatever and here you can see that we got a snapshot folders and here we have some code all right so now try to change here like put your style 20 To run it okay so this is not compulsory I just uh, want to show that okay now try to run it again and you will see that test cases failed why because there is a small changes so you can see that he is showing that we have receiving receive something and we have this is showing that what uh, exactly the last snapshot and what exactly we see in this the new snapshot so in the last snapshot we have the 24 font size and now now we have the 20 so if this is expected then we can use simple npm test hyphen 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 u and it will update your snapshot so now it is this is running successfully run successfully and here you can see that we got the change here also so this is now 20 uh, the last time it's, it's 24 okay so uh, is it check the current component and is it check the uh, child component also so let's create try to create a child component here I'll copy this and create one more file profile dot js and made some quick changes here all right mm -mm. and right here import this file component sorry import profile from profile all right so and we can simply write here like this all right now I'll just run emulator so we got the profile screen here so obviously first time we we must uh, we will must get some errors because uh, we have some changes in this file so just update this update this okay try to run once again this is run successfully now do the changes in your child component like right here 30 all right and all right that's enough and try to check here so it is showing that uh, there is some changes that means the snapshot will always test the home component as well as this child component also all right so this is the i think a very simple example of the snapshot testing with the jest and if you still have any kind of confusion any query or any suggestion you can put me in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe our channel and like this video thanks guys thanks for watching this video